Hi there everyone, Josiah here with Womp Rock Creations and I, well this is uh, uh, my wife and I's third or fourth day in our 14 day quarantine. So this is quarantine build number two and I just watched uh, Adam Savage's video on Apple boxes and I don't know how, I mean it seems like such a simple object. I don't know how I wouldn't have thought of that, but I actually constantly run into scenarios where an Apple box would be the perfect solution to the problem that I have. And I don't currently have a different uh, solution to that problem. So if you haven't already, go check out Adam Savage's video on his Apple box that he made. Um, it's very, very informative. Uh, but if you aren't aware, an Apple box is a box that is commonly used in the film industry to aid in uh, rigging stuff. Um, it's essentially, a, there's a couple different sizes, but it's essentially a wooden box um, that you can use to prop up film equipment, prop, I mean, it's, it's a wooden box and uh, it has... Uh, handles on on two sides and that's essentially it but in my workshop anyways I constantly run into situations where an apple box would be the perfect solution to something that I'm having an issue with uh, so today I'm gonna be making some apple boxes I'm gonna make two full one half and then uh, I commonly run into, I think my most common need for an Apple box is much smaller in scale. So I'm actually going to be making some much smaller Apple boxes as well that are more well suited to what I'll need day to day. Uh, but the, the full and the half Apple boxes, um, I'm going to make a couple of those and then I'm going to make some of the smaller ones. So and... The nice thing about this is it allows me to use up some of the scrap plywood that I have that has been sitting here for I don't know how long and I haven't really had a, a purpose for that plywood yet. So this is perfect. I get to burn through some material that's been sitting around for a while and uh, I will have an arsenal of apple boxes that I can employ whenever I need them. So. Let's get to the table saw. All right, you guys, so before I can get on to any assembly, 
Um, I need to uh, plan out and uh, cut out my handles on the uh, on the sides of my apple boxes, uh, which means for that I'm just going to be using a square, and I need to collect all of the sides. Um, I need to remember which of all of these pieces, there's a lot of pieces right now, um, I need to remember which of all of these pieces are my sides that are going to get handles, mark the locations, I'm going to use my drill press with a forcer bit to uh, get the, uh, the two ends of my sides, then I'll use my jigsaw to cut out all of the um, to connect the two uh, holes from the Forstner bits. Then I'm gonna break out my router and round off the edges on my handles so that um, uh, it's just easier to hold on to. Then we can get onto some assembly. So I'm gonna figure out which of these are my size. Alright you guys, all of my uh, end pieces have handles and uh, I, as you saw I routed out the edges so that they uh, it just makes it a little nicer uh, to hold on to without those hard edges. Um, you'll notice that uh, with stuff like that where I had to do a repeated action over and over again, I like to assembly line things. and. One of the things that helps me cope with the boredom of doing the same task over and over again is trying to think of how I can uh, do it quicker. Um, but you have to be careful when you're doing those repetitive tasks because anyone that, uh, my, my grandpa was, spent some time as a cabinet maker and um, he ended up one day cutting off the tips of the last three of his fingers on one hand on a table saw because uh, he had to cut a whole bunch of strips of wood on a table saw to the exact same length. Just, I mean, I think he said like a hundred pieces, um, just all the same length. So it, you're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And those are always the times when people get bit by their tools. Um, when you're doing a repetitive task over and over again, you stop paying attention, you get distracted, and that is when you get bit. So when you're doing those kinds of repetitive tasks, it is very important to stay focused on what you are doing. And one of the ways that I do that is I think about ways that I can uh, speed up while still being safe. Um, so you saw that I started out by cutting out all of the pieces with the jigsaw and then I realized that it made more sense to route them right after I cut them out instead of cutting them all out, setting them aside and then setting it all back up again to route them. That So I brought in the router, 
then I realized that I was having to plug, unplug and plug each one whenever I was switching back and forth. So I had to stop and get a power strip so I could plug them both in. But uh, yeah, that's I enjoy those types of assembly line construction stuff. Um, but you need to be careful when you're doing repetitive tasks. Um, yeah, just stay focused on what you're doing. I know it can be boring, but find some way to make yourself focus on what you are doing. Um, now I'm going to go into another um, assembly line, but this is going to be a assembly assembly line. Um, I'm going to be assembling the varying sizes of my apple boxes and for that I'm going to be using some wood glue and my new air stapler. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Glue. I need glue. Glue. And a brush. Now let's get to it. All right, you guys, I have my apple boxes, and while they might be a little cruddy in some areas, um, that's okay. These are meant to stack on top of each other. They're meant to have stuff on top of them. They're, they're meant to kind of toss around. Um, you'll notice that some of the panels on these are red, and uh, that is because these are panels from wood that I scavenged from an old, old workbench of mine. And I actually kind of like, I thought about sanding down, getting rid of the red, but I actually kind of like when things show their construction and show that they're salvaged, um, which I mean for apple boxes, they're, um, I think that's totally fine. Um, there is one more thing that I'm going to do, and it's completely unnecessary, but it's kind of fun uh, because uh, Apple boxes are traditionally used in film. The film company will often uh, have a stencil and spray paint their, uh, the name of the film company on the Apple boxes. So 
I am going to do that as well. So I need to get my stencil cut out. We'll air, or not airbrush, uh, spray paint some logos on my Apple boxes, and then we'll be good to go. All right, you guys, I am done. I have a whole bunch of Apple boxes now and I couldn't be happier. I know that I'm going to be using these all the time and uh, I'm, I'm just excited to have this as a new tool, I guess, in my arsenal here in the shop because I can't tell you how many times I have needed a box to prop something up or or set it on top of so I could work on. I mean, there's a myriad of different ways that I can and will use these. And I have, so I have my two full Apple boxes. I have my half Apple, and then I have these smaller ones, which are not really Apple boxes, but their construction is the same. And I know that I'm gonna be using them all the time. Most likely these little ones uh, we'll see the most use. But these big ones, when I need them, I will be glad that I have them. So thank you again to Adam Savage for pointing me in the right direction. I hope that you guys learn something, um, or uh, at least, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't have thought of this for whatever reason until I saw it and I was shown. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in for another Scratch Build. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, consider checking us out on Patreon. Patreon is a great way to help support the channel directly, and it allows us to give you some cool stuff in return, like free 3D models of all of the shop infrastructure builds that I do, um, you can get free merch, and a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. So go check it out. Thanks, guys. Five three to upper bay door. Five three to upper bay door.